Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Burning. I wanted to talk a little bit about something cool that's been happening lately. We had Hurricane Idalia come through, of course. Um, terrible, all the devastation and all that. But hurricanes do bring some interesting ecological impacts. And one thing that this hurricane has brought is American flamingos to the United States. And oftentimes when you do have a big storm system come through, especially like a hurricane, it will push some of those pelagic birds or birds from other areas inland. Out west, we had a hurricane come in and it pushed all these pelagic birds into like Arizona. So they were showing up on these like inland lakes, birds that had rarely, if ever, been seen there before. And so with this, we're getting this push of American flamingos. So there was one, I believe he's still there, Pinky, the American flamingo that lives at St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge that I've actually seen before. He's presumed wild. They thought a hurricane pushed him in and then he's just kind of stayed there. But since then, we've gotten many more flamingos. So Florida got more, Alabama has seen some, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, Texas, and probably the one that I think is the most crazy is Ohio had some flamingos as well. So people are kind of on the lookout for them. They're waiting to see where they're going to show up next. I'm really curious to see how long they're going to stay. Like, are they going to kind of work their way back south? Are they just kind of going to be in these states? Are they going to move from state to state? it will be really interesting to see how it plays out. Now it's important to note that this isn't like, you know, a true like range expansion. With Limpkin, we've seen their food source, the apple snails, kind of moved across the United States, and so they've kind of moved across too. But with this, this is a weather event that's pushing them up. So we'll see if they stay or if they go or where else they'll show up next. But if you're if you're out birding, keep an eye out for those big pink flamingos. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.